My mother told me to steer clear of outlanders. Most of the commoners take the elevators back down to the village. Look fresh from the forge. You wouldn't be so eager to speak with me if you knew. Should be out there fighting machines. Saram will spend weeks making it. Still want to talk? I'll see you later. I hope so. Aloy, hey, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon, from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight. Where the spire rests. Aloy, allow me to apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. It quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. The Sun King owes his life. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. 
Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Ammunition and bandages, whatever you can find. Got a pair of sturdy Osaram hands.
chance. I'm keeping my eyes on. involved in politics. Have you just polished that armor, who's it? Of course. A shame a woman becomes Isn't that a little... Large. What? At least she didn't hey, Louis. The men of her house. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. It sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Blood and sacrifice brought about this twilight. Our son can must cleanse his father's sins. These damn Osiramas stirring up tensions. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. No. Oh. So I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. I bet those traitorous Asaron will just conveniently move. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the Low Gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy, it was done well. Although, I can't shake this road, Vinasha. She delights in goading me, like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then, Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. Why'd you try to kill the Sun King? I only fight when I have to. But by the time I have to, I usually want to. Sure as the sun's rising, he's off courting that noble girl. Alita, I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. 
Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. Father understood that I couldn't just stand by in my garden. Geneva. They called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion? Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing? I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. How many men do you think you'll kill in battle, Luther? As many as I have to. Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helis. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Isn't that him? From the Battle of the Dawn? Can be. Cinnabar Sands was before that, and there were no survivors. Well, I don't like to boast. Oh, son, keep the shadow from falling upon me. Nil? Hey, Lord. They told me your name. I said hair like a splash of blood, tenacious as a scrapper's jaws. I've thought about what you said. Every time, the wound you gave me caught on my ribs. But I didn't wound you. Not by now. Still, I forgive. A duel is such a fleeting joy. If one of us had ended the other, we'd have missed all this. The weight before blood is shed. Like the scrape of a blade across your teeth. Nil, you're making it difficult to be glad to see you. But you're needed. The battle will be hard. Hard? I was assured the odds would be near impossible. And you signed up anyway? Impossible odds, fine company, killing without consequence. How could I resist? Petra! Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you. Hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent, then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. It is nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Pretty good. Try the next.
Hello. That's a nice speaker, Bufa. Thank you. I like the way you grip it. Not enough, woman. Poor Prince Itaman. He's just a child. Thank you for bringing him home. Artok? I didn't expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's. In our youth. And I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. A great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. Cyan said she could not predict the outcome. If she had, I would have chosen not to hear it. From their metal bones, I'll make my armor and my song. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no promises. When you need me, I'll follow your lead.
it rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The anointed. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. The Karja do not impress me. To build so tall is to invite the fate of the Ancients. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Your friend, the vanguard, keeps looking over. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy, <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At the front of the line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Ursa would be proud. Only if we win.
I'm back, Cyan. How are things going with the Banuk? I have been learning about the Banuk cosmology from the shamans. Their aptitude for geometry and mathematics is quite encouraging. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions. Brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge, and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. What did you figure out about Hephaestus, based on what I said? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system stands the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there, in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. I ran across this strange piece of gear. A fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So, you think the fragment was... part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive, or aggressive, would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers and look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is Flora, an AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, 
Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. Thanks for the talk, Cyan. I continue to enjoy our conversations, Aloy. These devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. There, fits. I just need to slide in one more. That's two. It's some kind of code. Maybe there's a clue nearby. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that will, looks like each dial has four positions. Maybe if I get each dial in the right position. have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. all these power cells. That should do it. Only two more.
just one more. There we go. The last one. It's all powered up. These numbers. They must be related to segments of a circle. Look at that armor inside. All right, now let's see what we can do with this material. 